to 10 by 8 o'clock. time right now well 15 percent at seven o'clock it says 15 percent all night basically <laughs> I don't follow him on twitter you don't mm -mm. i don't follow him on twitter either i follow him every day <laughs> <laughs> what do you say at the high school today For some things. <laughs> That's loud. <laughs> Although we're not registering very high on here for some reason. Usually a lot higher, and I don't know why. Oh, there we go. He must have placed a lot of knobs yesterday, huh? Maybe. <laughs> CPU. I like their, I like their little area be, uh, behind the, the home plate. It doesn't have a like a rise to it. It's just flat on the ground. I kind of like that. No, but I've seen it on TV. <laughs> no, I don't pay money for big, locked up again. You think it's this cord? Probably. You wouldn't think the. Deactivate and activate again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jack Marlowe Athletic Complex and the Coconut High School for tonight's varsity baseball action between the Davenport North Wildcats and the Coconut Cardinals. To start out, we'll introduce our officials. Umpiring tonight's game is Rich Madsen and Jeff Horst. Starting lineups for Davenport North. Leading off at shortstop, number three, Cody DePardo. Batting second and right field, <coughs> number 10, Trevor Collins. Batting third and left field, number 11, Jack West. Batting fourth, center fielder, number 19, Brian Verdon. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, number 25, Justin Sikowski. He's hitting for the catcher, number 12, Lucas Gross. Batting sixth, second baseman, number eight, Blake Stoughton. Batting seventh, third baseman, number 13, Blake Gasky. Batting eighth, first baseman, number 23, Cooper Kemig. And batting ninth, pitching, number four, Nate Williams. Your starting lineup for the Davenport North Wildcats, coached by Corey Wackel and Sean Hanna. Now your starting lineups for your Makokita Cardinals. Leading off, first baseman, number four, Ryan Grunwald. Batting second in center field, number two, Kane Cott. The number three hitter shortstop, number nine, Cannon Coakley. 
Batting fourth and pitching, number 22, Cole Harmon. Batting fifth and designated hitter tonight, number 15, Bryce Hansen. He's hitting for the right fielder, number 11, Thomas Crossland. Batting sixth at second base, number 10, Peyton Mangler. Batting seventh, left fielder, number six, Caden Scott. The number eight hitter is a catcher, number 18, Abe Mickle. And batting ninth, third base, the number seven, Mitchell Rader. Your starting lineup from the Coconut Cardinals. Coached by Brad Mangler and the head coach, Mr. Raymond Cavanaugh. At this time, we would ask everyone to stand and face the left field corner for the playing of our national anthem. Well, welcome to the season home opener of the Makokota Cardinals baseball team and should bring in Chad Coakley and Dale Scott and uh, Chad the word for tonight is gale force winds yeah yeah can't open the window because I'm afraid I'm blow out the back <laughs> of the booth or we might get caught in a wind tunnel and blow the booth all the way over it was uh, even difficult for the coaches to hit balls to the outfielders before the game because everything was ending up back on the infield when you tried to hit it to left field so gonna be really interesting on uh, Balls hit to the outfield here. Well, on the mound for the Cardinals, getting the home start is junior Cole Harmon. Cole last season. Had 11 and one third innings. And it was an 0 and 2 record. And out of, out of courtesy to Cole, I won't bring up his ERA. Uh, he had like two really good starts and then uh, two or three kind of what happened starts and the three what happens always outweigh the good. Yeah, I know he had some good good innings and sometimes he get himself in a little trouble. Hopefully a year's experience will get in that. Shortstop number three, Cody DePardo. Extra edge and be kind of curious to see if you're an outfielder here digging only from about 10 minutes ago the wind was blowing from left to right now it seems to be blowing from right to left it looks like it's the flag is almost straight out to the left now in left field leading off for Danport North uh, Cody DePardo the shortstop fouls the first pitch off strike one. First pitch 5 to 20 Harmon with the 0-1 to DePardo. Fastball low, ball one. And the 1-1 is high and away, ball two. Infielders playing really shallow. 
combat the wind. Ball, strike call in the inside corner. A lot of movement on that pitch across the plate. So 2-2 two -two is the leadoff batter here for Davenport North. And okay, strike three, got the outside corner call. So opening strikeout for Harmon, off to a good start. The strikeout brings up the right fielder, number 10, Trevor Collins. That'll bring up Trevor Collins, the right fielder for the Wildcats. Harmon stops, starts him off with a fastball high for ball one. Kind of darkening up down uh, south here, looking out the window. Strike call on the inside. Harmon with the 1-1. One, one. Fastball outside, ball two. And the two ones down the middle. Curveball. Two. Looks like a curveball. Kind of hard to tell sometimes up here, huh? We're used to being right there, ground level. You can really tell. And the two twos fouled off. Outside for ball three, three and two. You know, it's not easy doing this and trying to do your day job at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to talk a little bit more there, Coakley. You're awfully quiet, just chomping on gum or something over there. I'm eating my licorice. <laughs> this is ball four. He gets past Mickel. Jack West now comes to bat. He's the left fielder for the Wildcats to here in game one. He's going to have a fun game. Ball one outside. play. Evens a count at 1-1. One, one. one out. Top of the first. 0-0 zero, zero game. Runner on first. There's a curveball. Drops in for a strike. So far, the curveball is working. Yeah, it's, it's working. Like it's and it's got a nice tight rotation to yeah, it, too. Yeah, keep them off balance, too. I think they're fooled by a little bit. Runner takes out. off. That goes foul out of play. <coughs> so a one two count. Well, ball gets away from Abe. He has trouble locating it. Now he finds it. Runner has second. Rounds it, but he'll stay there. Evens the count at 2-2. Two, two. Full count now. Ball was in the dirt. There's a 
sharp ground ball to third. Knocked down by Raider. Not going to have a play. Now to put runners at first and second with one out. So one out inning that brings up center fielder number 19, Brian Verdon. So a cleanup man for the Wildcats, Brian Verdon, the center fielder. Harmon outside with ball one. Ball high for ball two. Well, Nabe will go out and have a chat with Cole and might be windy, but at least we we're sitting in drier conditions tonight yeah. as other than like we were Monday night. I've still got mud on my shoes I from too. Monday night. <laughs> it was really sore from standing and, you know, kept sinking, moving. Yeah, my chair was just more or less a, a milking stool <laughs> <laughs> most of the night. And it was slanted. Mm. <laughs> There's a... Yeah. Fly ball out to left. Keep coming in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an easy play with this kind of wind. It's going to drift towards you when you hit up that way. So but Caden Scott makes the catch. Get second out of the inning. Fly out to the left fielder for the second out. Brings up the designated hitter, number 25. So two outs, two on. Runners on first and second. And the number five hitter in the Wildcat lineup is the DH, Justin Siskowski. Harmon has a sign, takes a look at Mangler, checking the runner at second. Ball inside. Mm -hmm. Cole's going to take a look at the runner at second. Deeks him back. Yeah, good pitch. Tom, how'd the mowing clinic go today? A lot of people show up. <laughs> Cuffed him inside in that. Uh, one, two count now with two outs. Inside and low in the dirt. Two, two count, two outs, two on. And two, two, check swings in the dirt. Abe will have to throw to first and retire the batter. So that'll end the. Top of the first, Wildcats get no runs, no hits, two left. We'll head to the bottom of the first.
Cardinals first base, the number four, Ryan Grunewald. And Cardinals come up for their first at bat, be led off by Ryan Grunewald. Yeah, I bet they have. There's a hit over the third baseman head into left field for a base hit for Grunewald. So the Cardinal bats starting off at least with the first batter as hot as they were the other night. Yeah, you'd like to see that right away. The base hit for Grunewald brings up the center field at number two, Kane Cox. I'll bring up Kane Cop. Grunald with the lead off at first. Pitches down and low. It's ball one. What? No. Grunwald steals second on the play. Well, we can't do nothing about that. We were looking at the monitor last week. And one one count to Kane Cop here. Coakley on deck. <coughs> Kane Bonds back to the pitcher. Pretty good bunt. Goes first. That advances the runner Grunewald to third. Kane's out first on the play. Well, the sacrifice bunt brings up the shortstop number nine, Cannon Coakley. Here's a hit into center. Carries Coming over back. the center fielder's head. Well, he might want to consider he not going to second. He's not going to. Nobody at first, so he's no trouble. But he, just like their night in Tipton, Grunewald gets on. Coakley brings him in. I'd like to see that start. Boy, getting on top early. Cardinals with an early one nothing lead. I actually felt like today was Friday for some reason. Because it was the first nice day in Frick forever. <laughs> Ball one to Cole Harmon. So we're up in the booth tonight. We got Dale Scott, Pat Bowman. Well, I'm half here. On the uh, announce. For now. The PA announcing. <coughs> Head activities director Tom Grunewald and the old ball coach Kevin Bowman. He's not listening. <laughs> Coakley's over here talking smack about you. <laughs> <laughs> Two and one, Cole. Kevin, I had a long talk with Sarah last week, Sarah Nelson, about our our stay in uh, Marion that time at the U-Haul place <laughs> <laughs> when we lost Tammy. Yeah, that was a good five-minute filler <laughs> story right there. Yeah. Well, there was the one time we lost my mom <laughs> <laughs> for like four hours. Well, Sarah was probably only six, seven, <laughs> four. Yeah, five, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe not even that old. Cole Harmon will strike out for out he, number two. I think he expanded the zone a little bit there. 
So Four two down for Bryce Hansen, who's DH in here in game three, one. Bryce Hansen. Yeah, 89. Swinging and a mess by Hansen. Yeah, I, I, I lost count on the pitches for this kid. I'll have to wait till Pat's announcement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruggerberg, Ruggerberg lost the two. No, Nelson lost his front teeth. That or was no, on Nelson. The Ruggerberg was the one who broke his leg. Yeah. That was on a Sunday too, wasn't it, Kevin? Just tape it up, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> the ball low brings the count to one, two. I thought he did. Yep. Ground ball by Hanson to third, throw her to first, to retire the Cardinals, but they do get the one run and take the one nothing lead early over Davenport North here in Makoka, this home opener. And to the top of the second we go with lead off the inning is the second baseman, Blake Stoughton. Cole Harmon's first pitch, pitch on the route side corner for strike one. Good location. And the old one Another reaches pitch. out for it and pokes it into exactly what you're supposed to do as a hitter and pokes it into right field for a single. Base hit for Stoughton brings up the third baseman, number 13, Blake Gasky. So the third baseman, Blake Gasky, to come to the plate. This is Davenport Norris' first game of the season. They, as my wonderful statistician over here, the, provide the information. They got rained out last night. They were supposed to play. Ball in the dirt. It's going to get behind Abe. Runner will advance to second. on the wild pitch. I got this open that much. <laughs> Strike right down the middle there. Pitch. Even the count on 1-1. And right, another one down the middle, blows it by him, swing and a miss. One and two. Runner at second. 
Yeah, it'd be a pop fly. That's going to get carried out of play easily by yeah, the wind. Yeah, it's William. But you got to attempt because you don't know. Had three Cardinals over at the fence. That, that was some good hustle there by all three. Shortstop, third baseman, left fielder. One two count. Good Good ball in the dirt. Yeah. Abe stops this one. Good block by Abe. Be a ball outside. First baseman Cooper Kimig is on deck for Davenport North. Here's a fly ball. It's going to drift about by third base. Brader drifting, drifting, drifting in ball territory. Makes the catch. It's a big first out. Pop up to the third baseman for the first out. Brings up the first baseman, number 23, Cooper. So Makoka, this is their third game. And said on Monday night they got a split, and it seems like, you know, that. Getting that win in that first opening night is kind of giving them a little pep in their step coming out here tonight. Well, I think it's really helped with hitting. They just they seem aggressive yet. You see, you see some energy out there. Ball low for ball one to Kaimig. from Harmon, smacked on to right. Going to hook a little a bit foul. foul. Didn't catch enough of the wind on that one. And the ball, well, that's going to be a balk. The runner took off early. And the ball gets away from A, but they will keep it out in front. So the runner has to stay at third. Two big uh, level three wins last night, Chad. Yeah, they came out uh, playing aggressive too. 14 1, 5 2. Swing and a miss for strike two. Evens count of 2 2, one out. In case uh, you haven't seen them, those are also uploaded on MCSN. You can watch those as well as the Monday night opener for the varsity. Yeah. Ball's going to get away. Runner's coming, and he's going to be safe easily to tie it up at one. So bases are empty. One out. Full count at the plate to Kaimig. Ball low, walk Kaimig. That'll bring up the nine hitter, Nate Williams, the pitcher. The walk brings up the pitcher, number four, Nate Williams. Another pass ball.
So Coach Kavanaugh will come out for a little visit. Construction time is over, and we're gonna have another wild pitch back to the backstop. And we're gonna have a runner at third base now. So two oh one out, top of second, ball high outside. Three and oh. Ball though for ball four. I can't tell if Trees, you got anybody up there on yet? Nope. So back to back walks bring up the leadoff hitter Cody, Cody DePardo, who struck out at the top runner. of the first. At first base, the down for North is number 24. Now hitting. Shortstop number three, Cody DePardo. So let's see if we can get a ground ball double play here. And get a swing and a miss. Alex Grover is the runner at first base. One down the third base line, foul. Make it 0 2. I'll hit that spot. Nothing too good here. You're awfully quiet tonight. Yeah, I talked so much last night. I just Are you really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just uh, felt like I talked nonstop last night. Well, you did. Ooh, good pitch. Got him. Oh. oh. Kept the runner stayed at third. And we got two outs as DePardo strikes out for the second time. The strikeout brings up the right fielder, number 10, Trevor Collins. So right fielder Trevor Collins at the plate. Arm and fastball's low, ball one. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised. We It was like 11-something when I got home, and we only went to Tipton. <laughs> Ball two. Kiowa, they got out in that concession stand tonight. What's that? You don't know? You're quiet, too. So 3-0, two out, two on. Davenport North and Makoka to tie it at one, top of the second. Ball just outside. That'll walk the bases loaded. Well, now you got uh, four sitting base. Only takes one. So two out. That brings up the left fielder, number 11, Jack West. So at number three hitter Jack West reached on a error in the first inning. Pitch low in the dirt, it's blocked by Abe, Abe Mickle. And 
that ball high. 2 and 0. Wind may have died down just a little. Looks like. Oh, the flag out there is still straight out. There's a strike on the outside corner. Yeah, when he hits that spot, he's okay. He's hit that outside corner a few times. Oh, Red Sox and Jay start soon. Just got the notification. <laughs> Hot shot down the third base line. Gets past Raider. One runs in. Second runs in. Scott gets it into Raider. And the other runners have to hold it first and second. So a two-run single for Jack West. Number eight, excuse me, center fielder, number 19, Brian Burden. That'll bring up Burden as the sun pokes out through the clouds. Still two down, down Port North now with a 3-1 lead, top of the second. Harmon's pitch is outside and high, ball one. Here's a strike on the outside corner. And swing and a miss for strike two. Good spot on that curveball. One, two count. <coughs> Ball in the dirt, blocked by Abe. Runner will hold at second. So two and two, two out, two on. And a comebacker up the middle. It's going to. Sneak between the shortstop, second baseman, and the center. Kane Cop comes up throwing. It's cut off by Harmon at the pitching mound. Hey, Kai, go see if Casey wants anything. Now batting the designated hitter, number He's 25, sitting over there. Justin Sikowski. Runners it on the corners, two out. Damport North up 4-1 now, top of the second. And another one, same spot, right up the middle. Oh. It takes a big bounce off the second base bag. And runners will hold at first and second, but it does score another run. Make it 5-1. Now Blake Stoughton, who started the inning, will come up. Now then, center baseman number eight, Blake Stoughton. So I heard this interesting discussion about when they say batting around. It's not considered batting around until the tenth player bats around. The guy that let it off gets another official at bat. Really? That, that's what they're saying now. Who's they? It was on the uh, it was a White Sox game a couple of weeks ago with uh, just uh, Jason Benetti hmm. and Steve Stone were talking about that. Never heard I've that before. Or no, I take that back. It was an ESPN one. It was um, Tim Kirchin. Hmm. He said he don't recognize it if just nine hit. It has to be ten. The guy that let off inning has to hit one. Has to uh, get an official bat again. He's considered batting around. Thought it was interesting. Obviously. <laughs> so 
runners will move up 90 feet as got past the catcher. Two's fouled off. And one two is going to be low for ball two. How many pitches has he thrown this inning? You know, I don't think I have my counts right. It was better when I was doing the computer, but it just it takes me away from the action so much trying to do that pitch yeah. by pitch. It's too much. And ground ball out to the shortstop. Coakley rounds it off, comes up throwing, but not in time to get the runner. That'll add another run. And we'll have runners at the corners once again. Infield hit brings up the third baseman, number 13, Blake Gasky. So they batted around officially in Tim Kirchin mode. Mm -hmm. Six uh, to one. Five hits this inning. How many walks? A strike call. Three walks. Three walks, two, three, five hits. Oh, Ooh. got one, gave him one there. That was a little bit, a little off, but we'll take it. Oh, and two. Ball low. Stoughton will. Take the open base at second, unchallenged. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I was trying. I was trying to look through the bullpen tree. <laughs> Ooh, that was a better pitch than the one he called a strike. I thought. Nobody down there. Nobody down yeah, there. I can't see anything through the branch. So. I can't see catchers. So. <laughs> Tom's <laughs> ignoring us. He was mowing today. Give him a break. <laughs> yeah, nice block by Abe. <clears throat> you know, NBC Sports Chicago would just go and trim it themselves. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thought maybe we'd get that one. But no, it's going to be ball four again. And we're going to have a pitching change. Isn't that his second visit? Yeah. Yep. That'll be it for Cole Harmon. Ryan Grunwald coming in? No, Bryce Hansen. Yeah, Bryce Hansen to DH. That means Thomas Crossland will have to come out. Who's that going in the right? Uh, looks like Hunter Manning. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Manning, number eight. We're going to have some changes here. Yeah, I know. That's on. T that's <laughs> I'm on shutting tape. that down. <laughs> it, oh, it's, it's still gonna get here.
So Thomas Crossland is head to the Makoka to bench. Bryce Hansen is on to pitch. The four spot for the and Hunter Manning has entered in right Hunter field, Manning. and he will be batting in the four Bryce spot Hansen, as Cole for Cole Harmon. So two out, top of the second. 6-1, Downport North on top. Base is loaded. And Hansen's first is outside. Hansen's second is low, ball two. batting first baseman number 23 Cooper Kenning and ball low so 3 0 nowhere to put him So based on balls, we'll make it seven to one. Walks are killer. Yes, they are. Seven now remaining. Now pitcher number four, Nate Williams. Still early though. Just gotta get out of this inning. It's starting to darken up more out there, isn't it? Yeah, to the south there a little bit. Three all. There, he finally gets a strike on his eighth pitch. Not easy to come in without loosening up. Looks like somebody else going to warm up in the bullpen right now. Eight to one. Still two out. Ball high. Running at first base, number 24, Alex Grover. Now hitting shortstop, number three, Cody DeParta. That wake you up a little bit? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm at a loss right now. Well, the good news is Depardo's up. He, he's the leadoff hitter, and he struck out twice. But right now, he's got a 3-0 count. There's a strike. Comes a point, you just throw them in there and groove them and let your defense help you as much as possible. There we go. Take the short one. No, nope. it's going to throw it all the way to first. And that'll finally retire the side, but the Navport North Wildcats get eight runs. 
and we'll head to the middle of the second with the score eight to one, Danport North. Peyton Mangler will lead it off for McCook in the bottom of the second and needing to get some runs, get right back into this. And just ball one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it falls off the second one. What kind of evens count? One and one. Ball low, two and one. Seems as the wind has died down here, huh? Yeah, the flag out there is, is still, still whipping. Moving? It's still oh whipping yeah, it's out good. that it's way. Over there, yeah. Peyton Mangler is going to get called on strikes looking for the first out. With one out in the innings, brings up left fielder number six, Peyton Scott. So Caden Scott's the left fielder up for the Cardinals. Seven hit, hits in the seventh spot, swing and a miss. Strike call in the outside corner for 0-2. I haven't seen a lot of off-speed stuff. Has anybody else noticed it? I, I haven't. It's going to be ball low. But <laughs> 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 <The> dump bump. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call that Bowman Boat Bolts. <laughs> <laughs> So, Cade Scott strikes out swinging. We're out number two. So, two outs in the inning. That brings up the catcher, number 18, Abe Mickle. I jinxed him. So, I told, we were talking last night, and I told him, well, at least you got an eight of bats. You didn't strike out Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to blame me. Yes, you did. <laughs> Foul back, strike one. You cursed him. I did. It was inevitable. Ball low. 1-1. One, one. Of course, if I was up 8-1, I'd probably throw a lot of fastballs, too. Yeah. And puts the ball in play. Third baseman scoops it up. Throw it to first. And the Cardinals have a quick 1-2-3 in the top of the second.
for 10, Trevor Collins. So Trevor Collins will lead off for Danport North here in top of the third. And Wildcats with an 8-1 lead over the Cardinals. Ooh, and just mm. like that, 2-0 count. So that was going to be a strike. Strike call to make it 3-1. A couple branches over there at that softball field. We'd be able to see the scoreboard over there. <laughs> Dale, I'd uh, I'd stop while you're ahead. <laughs> I'm just breaking on him. What happened? You, you know, I, I sent him a picture the other night of of a uh, internet issue. Do you, you think he got back to me on that? No. <laughs> Tom and I discussed that today. And no, I'm not editing this out. <laughs> 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 well then how would I get Bowman bolts <laughs> I think we just uh, enclose a little cage there underneath the scoreboard call it the beer garden <laughs> 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 I think there's an outlet out there, isn't there, on the bottom of the scoreboard? Yeah. I, I think, think so. there is. I think there is. I think there is out there. Strike there we go. You know, but then I'm going to be requesting golf cart service to the restroom from out there. and. <laughs> I'll go steal your little buggy out of the shed. <laughs> Well, I can run faster than he can for a short distance. <laughs> I might pull a, pull a few muscles, but two and zero oh is low. So on the schedule, we got level three doubleheader for baseball and softball tomorrow. And ground ball foul. Five o'clock here at high school against DeWitt. Which what are we doing then? Are we gonna, should we do both tomorrow night? Yeah. You want to do softball? No. You no. Want to do baseball. Not that I don't like. Just softball. because just because you you planned it out to have a Coakley at every level this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'll do softball. And another walk. Kind of getting away from us here. Need some strikes. One out. With one out inning, runners on first and second. <coughs> so we got Excuse softball me. and baseball level three tomorrow against the wit. Double headers. They're both at five. Both at five. At least according to this schedule. Friday, baseball level two is at 5 o'clock here at the home diamond against DeWitt. Softball level two over at softball diamond against DeWitt at 5. Somebody is warming up down there. The softball varsity team will head to South Tama Friday for a doubleheader. They're over on the other do softball diamond right now again playing against CPU. Let's see if we can get some updates from that. So strike one to Saskowski. Oh, big. The runners move up 90 feet. Oh, no, 
outside. load them up, one out. Coach Kavanaugh will head back out for our conference. Not wasting any time, he's gonna make a change. Looks like Thomas Crossland's gonna re-enter to pitch. How does that work? Does so now is Bryce out of the lineup? Yep. No, he can't, he's done. Yeah, so Thomas will come back in in five. DH, no DH. So two outs in the inning. Ooh, there you go. Oh, curveball. No, I don't know if I've ever seen him throw a curveball. I've ever seen that. He learned that in the Marines. Well, he hasn't started yet. <laughs> so two one. Eight to one, Wildcats. Bases loaded, two out. And there's a pop fly. fly. Cardinals might get out of the inning. And Hunter Manning corrals it in right field. So no harm done, no runs. For the Wildcats, Cardinals will come back to bat in the bottom of the third.
Yeah, and bottom of the third, Mitchell Raider to lead it off for the Cardinals, trailing 8-1. to one. And puts it in play, fly ball out to center field. And high can of corn out there for the center fielder, one away. We'll bring up the top of the order, Ryan Goonroll, who the singled and then scored on a the Coakley single in the first inning. Ball one, I'm guessing outside on that one. And the 1 0. Hit foul down third baseline. Yeah, two and one. You know, lightening up on the south now. Yeah. Looks like the rain might hold off. Oh, foul down the line. Let's see if I can get a little more air in here. Whoa. Ooh. Throws it behind. Misses everything, <laughs> including <laughs> the batter. Catcher caught it. So full count, one out. And Greenwald smacks one. Ryan drive right at the third baseman. Didn't even have to move, make the catch. Ryan drive to the third baseman for the second out. Inning brings up the center fielder. Number two, Kane Cop. So Kane Cop, who had a sacrifice bunt in his first at bat in the first inning. Let's get started out with a fastball for a strike. And ball a little high, one and one. Ball outside, two and one. Ball back. Ball, ball, two, two, two outs. Puts it in play, the shortstop. It's going to be a tough beat play. Yeah, and he Kane's going to beat it out. Infield single. The base hit to cop brings up the shortstop, number nine, Cannon Coakley. Let's see if Cannon can stay in the groove. Single to center and knocked in the Cardinals. Only run in the first. Be a ground ball. The shortstop takes a little hop on him. He's going to beat it out. Everybody's safe. Just waiting for the official score on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now batting for the Cardinals is right fielder number eight, Hunter Manning. Hunter Manning swung the bat pretty well the other night in Tipton. Gets his first at bat as he came into right field in the second inning. Takes ball one. And the pass ball moves Cobb to third. Coakley to 
second. Strike call, one and one. Swing and a miss for strike two. And another swing and a miss to retire the side. That will leave two stranded. And we'll head to the top of the fourth. So the top of the fourth we go. It's still eight to one. Davenport North over Makokita. Cooper Cooper Kaimig to lead it off for the Wildcats. Against Thomas Crossland. Yeah, he caught the first game, yeah. And ball out of play behind us. Concession stand's getting a little busy down there. <laughs> Hope they plan the food volumes accordingly to <laughs> There oh, good is. pitch. Nice pitch. Dropped toward him. Yep, dropped it in. That's all it takes. Let's throw some strikes. The strike out for the first out of the inning brings up the pitcher. That's number four, Nate Williams. So the varsity team, we're not back in action until what, next Tuesday? Or yeah. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Here, Here at yeah. home against Solon. Minus Luke Ira. <laughs> Thankfully. How did he finish? Ended up his freshman season at South Dakota State. I, I know he started out on fire. Yeah, he slowed down a little bit. I think he ended up around. There's a comebacker right to Crossland. He's going to take his time. Flips it over to first for the out. Two down. I think he ended up hitting around 250, maybe 260. I haven't checked in a couple weeks, I guess. but I can do it right now. Two outs remaining brings up the leadoff hitter. That's the shortstop, number three. Cody DePardo. So Cody DePardo, who's the only batter in the lineup who hasn't been on base yet for the Davenport North. He's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Finally going to get a line drive. It's going to drop for his first hit into left field. Thanks for cursing us, Dale. Hey, that's what I do. Base hit for DePardo brings up the right fielder, number 10, Trevor Collins. Now every Wildcat's reached base. A 
And Pardo takes off stealing. Nichols throw. Goes behind Coakley. He's not able to glove it. And, or, excuse me, Mangler. And Coakley backing him up was able to keep it in the infield. Can't, for some reason, I can't look it up. So two outs. And ball scoots high in the air. DePardo will have third base easily. So one and one, two out. Runner at third. Collins at the plate. Checks the swing in time. Ball two. Oh, Ooh, where's that one? That looked good. So three and one. And there's a swing. Full count. Two outs. Tom, Tom, was there a score over the softball game? Us? Them? Them? And called third strike to retire the side. So Crossland's come in and gotten the job done. So we'll head to the middle, bottom of the fourth with Cardinals batting when we come back. And Thomas Crossland to lead off the bottom of the fourth is started the game being DH for, but because of all the maneuvers, he's uh, in this spot now. Yeah, I think this is is this his first. Oh, there's a catcher interference. I told you the over under was at least ten this season if he got the at bats and led led the state in catcher interferences last year. Gets a one right off the bat. So it doesn't count on on base percentage? No, it didn't last year. No, it's not an at bat. I know you don't get penalized for the at bat. Hmm. But I know that. I don't think he got penalized. I think the catcher might be playing for the other side. And a foul ball by Mangler down the first baseline. Now hitting is the second baseman, number 10. His was really low. He hit 13. That's why I say he led the state. He had to have. <laughs> and Mangler's going to get one dropped in there. It might get, you know, Crossland's probably going to be held up at second. So two on, no out. And I'll bring up Caden Scott, the left fielder. Base hit for Mangler brings up the left fielder, number six, Caden Scott. So eight to one, bottom of the fourth. Cardinals trailing, but with no outs, two on, threatening here. Back 
Pass ball is going to be fouled off. It's going to be out of play. Well, there's a big gap between left and center where he likes to hit it, so hopefully he can get it out there. It's kind of closed down his hands, too. And the old one swung on and fouled off. And the 0-2 is going to be Ooh, low. It's going to be a pass ball. Runners will advance. Crossland to third. Mangler to second. So golden opportunity here to knock in a run or two. He's going to follow it off the right side again. No outs. Two on. Ball no low. Pitch. No, no. That's not going to get it far enough for Crossland to score. Thought about it. Two on, want to be aggressive and then recognize. So two, two, no out, two on. And you're going to follow another one off, making the pitcher work. Good at bat here. There it, it is. is. That's gonna that's gonna go stay foul. fair. Oh. Two two. Ah, he made him work. Called out on strikes. One out. Yep, I jinxed him. <laughs> I need to get a run in here. Put the ball in play somewhere. There it is. All right, that's gonna score across one. That's going to score another one. Ground ball to second by Abe Mickle. Going to get an RBI. Scores Mangler. So two away. Base is now Mitchell. empty, and Mitchell Raider will be up. Third baseman number seven, Mitchell Raider. So 
one and one. Eight to three now, bottom of the fourth. Raider fouls one off to the right. And swing and a miss to retire the side. Cardinals do get two runs. On one hit, no left, no error. Well, I don't know if they call that an error or not, but on the catcher's interference, but it's eight to three as we'll head to the top of the fifth. Jack West up for Davenport North, top of the fifth. Ball one from Crosland. Ball two. Side ball three. A four pitch walk to start the inning from Crosland. That'll bring up Brian Verdon. Brings up center fielder number nineteen, Brian Verdon. Ball down the left field line, back into the corner. Ball one, one, one. Runner goes, ball popped up to right field. Manning secures it, runner back to first. Way out to the right fielder for the first out inning brings up the designated hitter, number 25, Justin Siskowski.
ball high. Seskowski up. One out. Oh, good spot. Called ball two. Two oh, one out. There's a swing and a miss, strike one. Runners going, called strike, throw down a little late. Runner's going to go. Wild pitch. <laughs> Foul ball. Three, two, one out. Swing and foul ball by Stoughton. One out, runners on first and third. Evens count, one on one. All alone outside the dirt. Two one. Ball three. Walks him to load the bases. One out. Bring up Gasky. Now batting for the Wildcats, third baseman number 13, Blake Gasky. Ball one. Outside ball two, two and oh. There's a curveball that drops in on the outside corner for a strike. Strike one, two one count, one out, bases loaded, top of the fifth, Cardinals trailing eight three.
hits the batter. That'll bring in a run. First baseman number 23, Cooper Hemi. There's a little pop fly. Right field, Manning's calling for it. Pitcher number four, Nate Williams. Two outs. Williams, a pitcher up. He's a nine hitter. Strike one. Strike two on the swing. Ground ball up the middle. Coakley flips it to Mangler for the third out, second. And that'll take us to the bottom of the fifth. Cardinals trailing 9-3. Yeah, pitching change is Stafford Norris, Blake Staunton. Will, Blake Staunton will take to the mound with pitching change, and Blake Williams, the starting pitcher, will go to second base. Chad, you looked it up with Staunton's numbers from last season. Yeah, he had seven appearances. He was three and two, 38 and two-thirds innings pitched. He gave up uh, 19 earned runs, 344 ERA. 20, 23 strikeouts, 277 opposing batting average, opponents batting average against him. Well, run 2 and 0 to Ryan Green, or excuse me, 1 and 1 to Ryan Greenwald. <laughs> 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 
Ball low, two and one. He called the first one a strike? I th I thought he called a ball inside, but they have a strike on the board here, so. I trust Bowman. He's pretty good at this, though. Yeah. There's a pop fly out into right field. It's tailing. Wind's moving it. And, and right fielder adjusts to it and makes the catch. So that retired Grunewald bring up Kane Kopp. Kopp is one for two with a sacrifice Miles butt and a single. On a ground field infield single, two, he Kane beat Kopp. out. On a ground ball, the shortstop in the third inning. Strike one to cop. And the old one swung on and missed for 0 and 2. Swing and a miss for strike three on Cop. Be two outs. With two outs remaining, it brings up the shortstop, number nine, Cannon Coakley. So Coakley is one for two with an infield single, an RBI, and uh, reached on an error in the third. Coakley fouls off the first one to make it 0 and 1. A little bounce from ball one. And ball outside, two and one. Much wind out there, Dale, when you stepped out? Well, once you get out there past the concession stand, it's still whipping right through that little valley right there. Ball outside, three and one. But not like it was, you know, at the beginning of the game. Fouled away to make it full. <laughs> fouled away in the full count. Two down, full count, bottom of the fifth. Coakley's going to sky a fly ball out to right center. Right fielder camps underneath, makes the catch to retire the side. So three up, three down for the Cardinals. We'll head to the top of the six with Davenport North with a 9-3 to three lead.
Anyway, we'll head to the top of six. Cody Depardo, the leadoff hitter for the Bradport North Wildcats, to lead it off. <laughs> Thomas Crossland still on the pitching mound. Two and two thirds inning, giving up only one run since he's come in. Sky fly ball at the left field. Scott gets underneath it, makes the catch, and we got one away. Fly out to the left fielder for the first out of the inning brings up the right fielder, number 10, Trevor Collins. Ball a little low, ball one. And again, that first out of the inning is always huge. Goes a long way in how the rest of the inning usually goes. You know, Cardinals problem last couple of years has actually been getting the last out of an inning yeah. at times. It seems like we get the first two outs and then things go haywire more times than not. Didn't have any of that Monday night. Bad second inning here tonight is put him behind the eight ball. But only one run given up since. <laughs> mm, base hit. Yeah, base hit to left. Base hit to left field. Brings up number 11, left fielder, Jack West. So number three hitter, Jack West. So far tonight, reached on an error, had a single to left, struck out looking, and flew out to the right fielder in his last at bat. One on, one out. Nine to three, Danport North leads. Top of the sixth. Crossland's pitch is inside. Runner takes off for second and is going to be in easily. Crossland pitch strike, strike there. <laughs> well, compliments of Jack. Every baseball record back to 1959. <laughs> Last year. And that's what he told me. Here you go. <laughs> I ha I, I've looked pretty in depth at it. I don't remember coming across that, but I, I will definitely make a note to look at that th here tomorrow. There's a going to be a solid hit to left field line. Scott's up with it, throws, gets it in, throws it towards home. It's going to be cut off. So a double to left, scores another run for the Wildcats. The RBI double for West brings up center fielder number 19, Brian Burden. They're going to make it 10 to 3, Damport North. And Brian Burden, who's flying out, flied out to left, single to center, walked and walked, is up at the plate now. Ball high. A lot of you cheering over the softball field. Yeah, I can't, s just can't see that scoreboard through there. Ooh. Whoa, that one gets behind the hitter, get to the backstop. 
West will head over to third. Maybe a 2-0 count with one out. Solid single right up the middle will score West. Verdon will stop at first with a single, an RBI. The RBI single for Verdon brings up the designated hitter, number 25, Justin Siskowski. One out here. So Siskowski, he struck out. Single to center, walked and walked. Oh, that's a high foul ball. That's going to get out of play. Scott gives it a look, but it's well out of play. So the 0-1, going to be a high pop fly out by shortstop. Coakley drifts back, comes back in on it, makes the catch for out number two. Pop up to the shortstop for the second out of the inning brings up the pitcher, number eight, Blake Stoughton. Blake Stoughton with a single to right. Single to sh in an infield hit and lined out to center and walked. Hit the ground ball to Mangler at second. Throws it over to first to retire the Wildcats. The top of the six where they do score two runs and we'll head to the bottom of the six with an 11 to three lead over Makokota. Right fielder number eight, Hunter Manning. So Cardinals trailing 11 to three, head to the bottom of the six, Hunter Manning, who entered in the fourth inning, or excuse me, no he didn't, it was the second, second inning, inning, second yeah. inning, yeah. Struck out in his first plate appearance earlier. Takes ball one. And ground ball down to first base, gloves it. Steps on the bag unassisted to retire Manning. The ground out to the first baseman for the first out to Aang brings up number 11. So Mr. Catcher Pitcher. Interference, Thomas, Thomas Crossland, Crossland, come up. Yeah, I think that, that's his only bat of the year, wasn't it, that first one? That was his only bat of the year, wasn't it? Oh, he get a hit right to the first baseman, drops it. Uh, Got yeah, plenty of time to corral it right at the bag. And back-to-back uh, -back three unassisted. Bring up Peyton Mangler, the second baseman. The ground out to the first baseman brings up the second baseman, number 10, Peyton Mangler. So ball one to Peyton. Peyton is struck out and singled to right. Just 
the right call. Ball high inside. Fouled off to the right. Two and two. Has the berries gotten planted or get you don't want to plant those? Those are annuals or what? When are those ready? When's berry picking season? First September. First September. The Grunewald Berry Patch. Swing and a miss. That'll retire the side. One, two, three. We'll head to the top of the seventh. 11 to three, Danport North on top. Oh, at the top of the seventh. Lead off the seventh for the Wildcats is number 22, Hunter Merrill. Hunter Merrill will pinch hit for Blake Gasky. Crossland's first pitch called strike one. Oh, good spot. Oh, got it again. That one looked uh, got the corner there, right? Oh, they got all the plate. Corner of the <laughs> corner of the right batter's box or the left. Oh, punch it! Ooh, then tried Ooh. the other corner, didn't get it. Might have been a better pitch. Looked good from up here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, swing and a miss. First out. Tom, do you want us to go to? First baseman, number 23, Cooper Do you want us to go over there Friday night and do a live show? Uh, for what? Ryan's umpiring debut. Oh, is he doing YMCA ball? No. What was it? Middle school over in uh, Wyoming. Really? Big time, huh? You know, I never did ask Caden if he, he applied to do it for YMCA. I don't know if he heard back. Followed off one and one. Well, he wanted to see what it was like to be in an umpire. That's why he wanted to do it so I guess that he could have understanding and not yell at him so much. I guess if there was uh, a non game days, maybe he could, but. There's a. That's going to go pop. way out that's of play. That's going to be. Yep, that's out of play. <coughs> Timing at one and two. One down, top of the seventh. Oh, 
Cardinals will have seven, eight, and nine spots come up in the bottom of the seventh. Might maybe see some pinch hits coming up maybe in that bottom uh, of the seventh. Possibly, yeah, possibly. Get some bench players, some uh, in a bat. So two, two, one out. Time to get the plate. And it's going to be low ball, low ball, low ball, low ball. Low ball, low ball. <laughs> <laughs> Full count. Kaiming has walked, walked, struck out, and flied out to right field. And he might fly out to right field again. That's a high pop fly. A long way to go over there for Hunter Manning. He makes it. Makes the catch. Got lost. I couldn't see it once like that so far. Fly out to the right fielder for the second out of the inning. Brings up the pinch hitter, number five, Griffin Liebel. You doing better on camera tonight? I, I haven't even been paying much attention to At it. At times, yeah. I'm doing pretty good. So about four weeks from now, you, you'll be dialed yeah, in? Yeah, by the end of the season, I should be in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for football season. <laughs> Something different. <laughs> <laughs> Two outs, top of the seventh. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Who is this batting? It's pinch Number hitter. five, Hunter Merrill is what it is. My program says, but that's what they had. That was twenty. You said twenty-two. That's what, yeah, I don't have a twenty-two in my <laughs> strike two on the swing. O oh two. Ooh, he's inside. Good, one and two. Good pitch, not called. One two. Foul ball. Oh, was Tom taking orders? <laughs> of a, a Big Mac and a fish sandwich. It's since it's, you know. Fly balls, going to drift down left field line. Scott's over there, makes, makes the it. catch. Be the pinch hit parade here in the bottom of the seventh. Liam Onnen will pinch hit for Caden Scott. Now Jack Bowman's on deck. He'll pinch hit for Abe Mickle. It looked like Taven Rich had a helmet on and grabbed a bat to pinch hit for Mitchell Raider in the nine hole. Strike one to Onnen. Swing going to miss for strike two. And the 0-2 swing going to miss for strike three. So 
Jack Bowman will get his first varsity at bat. That's the strikeout brings up number 14, Jack Bowman. <laughs> so one and one to Jack B Peter what was it Peter what Peter Edward, Peter Edward Rose Bowman <laughs> one and two with the swing and the miss Oh, Jack Hustle is going to go down on a called strike three. <laughs> First inning with two outs in brings up number 23, Taven Rich. So Taven Rich get his first varsity at bat as well in this inning. Two down, swing and a miss. Ooh, cold strike. That one was wide. That one was a little wide. Well, we're going to wrap this game up soon, or <laughs> rather sooner rather than later. So. Oh, two, two outs, bottom of the seventh. Anywhere close, this one's going to be strike three, I think. Mm. Well, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> so the one, two to Rich. Bounce it off, gets a piece, stays alive. And oh, pitch outside called third strike. That'll end the game. Davenport North wins game one, 11 to three. We'll be back with game two shortly. You listen to MCSN.